Hello everybody and welcome, CDS here bringing you guys an interesting little tutorial video. So, I have been talking about how I use emulators on a regular basis, and the fact that I use them for a majority of my content speaks volumes about what I think about them. <coughs> so, I decided to go ahead and give a few short tutorials on how to set up the emulators that I use for all of my videos that require an emulation. So the first one that I wanted to go ahead and show you guys how to do is to download Visual Boy Advance for the Game Boy, Game Boy Color, and Game Boy Advance emulators. Okay. So the first thing you're going to want to do is go to the link in the description and download a file that will be named Visual Boy Advanced dash 1.8.0 dash beta 3 dot zip. Once you have that file downloaded, just go ahead and right click it, go to extract files. If you want to extract it directly to your downloads folder, that's fine as well. But I'm going to go into my downloads, scroll down here to Game Boy, Game Boy Color, Game Boy Games, and I'm just going to create a new folder in this subdirectory that'll just be named exactly what it is. Make sure it's selected. Click OK, and it will now be exported. Doesn't take very long. So I'll go ahead back over here and click this. As you can see now, we have the emulator here. So I'll go ahead and open it up. And this is the way it's going to look stock as soon as you download it. You can, of course, go into different set settings on this emulator. I'm going to increase the uh, size of the emulator. Go to options, go to video, and increase it to either one, two, three, or four times um, resolution. Now, I don't believe that it'll show. Nope. Okay. So it doesn't show anything recently. I went ahead and uninstalled Visual Boy to reinstall it and show you guys the process in which I did to get it to work. So if we go over here to options, see we have sound settings. In this case, I have sound on. You're going to want to leave all these sound settings down here as, as uh, already checked. Echo, low pass filter, and reverse stereo aren't really necessary, so I just leave them alone. The volume at 22 kilohertz or 44 kilohertz can be adjusted at your leisure. I do like to leave the volume at one quarter times normal volume because even with my volume settings very, very low on my computer or my uh, TV, the volume for Visual Boy Advance can be very high. Then you're going to want to go over and come to Game Boy. It will have this setting on by default and real colors on by default. Real colors is only really a factor when it comes to the Game Boy Color and Game Boy Advance games. You can also alter the colors if you wish. Um, I see no reason to do that because when it comes to Game Boy games, I prefer to have a more colorful version of it. Uh, priority, this is just showing uh, the priority in which this is treated over other programs. Just leave this stock or normal. Now, emulator, and this is a big one. If you notice here, when you go to save type, it says automatic and flash 64K. We'll get into that in a second, but I'm going to configure a few other, or I'll show you guys how to configure a few other things. I usually leave filtering to normal. Uh, you can change this at your leisure. It'll just change how the, uh, how the thing is viewed. And of course, configure for joypad. I'm going to go to configure one. I already have my controller uh, plugged into my computer right now. So I'm just going to go up, down, left, oops, left, right. There we go. I leave A button as A, B button as B, L button as L trigger, R button as R trigger, select button on my switch controller as Y, start as X, and I have speed as the left L trigger. I usually leave capture and GS a lot. Click OK. Now we are ready to load up a game. So let's go ahead to open. Back up a folder here. And for this, I'm going to go ahead and select Pokemon M. And this file should already be booted up. As we are here. I have the speed up function that lets me go super fast for no fucking reason. So let's go ahead and go ahead and put this, just for the hell of it, we'll put somebody back in here. 
because I don't remember if the Flash 64K will do what it wants to do. Um, but with, uh, I know for a fact that with, um, I don't know if it's the same way with this build. Or maybe it's just my computer because it's a newer computer than the one I originally used for my old videos. But when loading up um, Pokemon Fire Red, Leaf Green, or Emerald, if you have the Flash 64K instead of 128K uh, selected, you would have an, uh, an issue actually loading the game in the first place. I think that that's already been fixed, as we can clearly determine uh, to some degree at the very least that it has been fixed here. This is also for a video I was planning on doing, I believe. But I've already done all the legendary captains and whatnot for Fire Red. <coughs> now let's go ahead and load up another game real quick. So I also have Game Boy and Game Boy Color games in here as well. So I suppose for Game Boy, we'll load up Pokemon Blue. As you can see, it does uh, change the uh, uh, aspect ratio to a 4x3. Since, or actually, this might not even be 4x3, it might be like 4x2 or something. Uh, but it does change the aspect ratio, and as you can see, it is exactly like it looks like in the actual game. However, you can come down here uh, to, let's see, which one is it? Uh, video, that's it. Actually, is that video? Maybe? Um, no, I don't think that's it. Emulator, Game Boy, Game Boy, got it. So, you can actually go with Game Boy Colors which will actually make it look like a Game Boy. Real colors, which will be what it actually is colored like. Um, come back to Game Boy here. You can make it, you can change the GBA colors. Automatic, which is where I usually keep it. Um, you can have Super Game Boy 2. Uh, and then Super Game Boy, and I think one of these is the one that changes the way it looks. Can't remember which one it is. Let's see. Let's try to boot it up again. Yep, there we go. That's the one. So if you go into options like I just did, and you select Super Game Boy, it will essentially make Pokemon red and blue and green and yellow look like it does when you plug it into the Super Nintendo's Game Boy Advance Player Adapter. So now that we see the Pokemon Blue, it looks a little bit more pretty now. I'm going to go back over here to Open, and I'm going to show one more. In this case, I'm going to go with uh, Gold. Why not? The time's not set in this. Uh, I don't exactly know why that is the case, but it is not. So as you can see, oops, holy shit. Probably should have went to a different one. Okay, let's go back to silver this time instead. Or maybe silver is broken? Okay. <laughs> it's been a while since I've played most of these, so let's just go ahead and check out Crystal then, since obviously the others were off. Uh, okay. Okay, so that's an interesting one. I never saw that. Um, so let's go ahead back and switch it to here. Now we set it. Nope. Okay. Close it. Open it back up. There we go. Okay. So yeah, apparently if you switch it to the Super J Game Boy, it'll actually change specifically like what uh, Super Game Boy can't uh, is not compatible with SNES or with uh, Game Boy Color games. Apparently, this is something I was not aware of until just now. But that's an interesting thing to notice. Now. But yeah, outside of that, um, pretty much every single Game Boy game or Game Boy Advance game or Game Boy Color game. Uh, should work stock as soon as you boot it up. There shouldn't be any issues whatsoever. Um, if your PC is, even if your computer is like a, an extremely old, basic, like, Windows, hell, I think I've been able to get this working on Windows Vista before. Um, like my old Junker computer that I had when I first started my YouTube channel, it was a piece of crap, and it's still ran just fine. So I guess it all just depends. But... You know, you guys shouldn't have any issue with running any Game Boy Advance games. Uh, but if you do have any questions regarding, you know, my setup or anything like that, or any details I might have left out, please leave your uh, uh, thoughts in the comment section down below. By the way, one last thing, I cannot tell you guys where to get the games. Just do a quick Google search and I guarantee you'll find them somewhere. 
But uh, that's going to go ahead and do it for this video, guys. I will produce some more content as the weeks come on uh, through, other, through other games and uh, some other tutorials on how to set up um, and different emulators. Uh, this is just the first one I decided to do. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys have any suggestions for future content, please leave your suggestions in the comments section down below. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter and support me on Patreon if you have the ability to. And until next time, this has been ZDS. Thank you for fun one video at a time, and I'll see you guys in the next video.